Good morning. So I'm hoping that the Wi-Fi is going to stay with me today so that I can get through this live. Here is hoping that it will. Um, Because I've got a really juicy topic that I want to talk about today and I know that all of us have struggled with this or struggle with this from time to time. And it's how to get into a routine of doing the things that make us feel good, right? So getting into a routine of doing uh, yoga, meditation, running, whatever it is that really lights us up and makes us feel confident, connected and calm as, you know, as because where we are right now with what's going on energetically and globally and, you know, there's just such a sense of uncertainty right now. It's more important than ever that we have this uh, this time for ourselves to get clear, to move away from our old thoughts and old beliefs so that we can really tap into what is important and what is uh, needed right now. So thank you very much to Sarah for asking this question. And I wanted to, uh, to share this because I think a lot of us are feeling this right now. So what what Sarah Jane was saying was that she struggles with keeping things consistent. So she'll do things as a one-off, she'll do some yoga as a one-off, she'll go for a run as a one-off, but then she will struggle to get into routine and she will procrastinate. And I think we all know what it's like to procrastinate and I certainly do. When I first started off on my journey uh, of making my practice, my spiritual practice uh, a must of, of really having that time to connect with myself, I procrastinated like nothing on earth Um, and in fact I've sent an email out today um, and I'm sharing about how I used to really resist meditating like I would just I just did not want to do it Um, and procrastination is one of the ways we keep ourselves stuck it's one of the ways that you will keep yourself repeating old stories and old beliefs about yourself because while you're just stuck in this place of not doing what it is you want to be doing you will constantly you'll constantly be reiterating that belief that you're not good enough so what i want to share today some really practical te- techniques and tips i guess for you to uh, to get into that that place of making it consistent so that every day you wake up and you think yes yeah, I am so excited about doing this or you've had a really crap day and you think I I'm so glad that I have my meditation I'm so glad glad that I do my yoga because it's making me feel like I can handle all of what's being thrown at me and that's the thing right whatever you do whatever your practice looks like and it's individual to all of us and in my uh, online program you know I, I share every day different techniques and different practices to build up your own practice, your own soul confidence practice, but it's very much about learning these techniques and then using the ones that work for you, working out what makes you come alive, what what fills you up. It's not prescriptive in terms of this is what I do, so therefore it must work for you. It's about learning what works for you and about being consistent and about being accountable as well. So when we are, yeah, when we are thinking about, you know, how how we handle things it's not like when you do your yoga or you do your running or you have your meditation you suddenly suddenly like you just are like removed from from day-to-day life it's not about that at all it's about the fact that when things happen day to day that rattle you that trigger you that get your inner fear freaks going you go do you know what I can choose my responses right now I can choose to come from a place of love and so when Sarah Jane asked me this, I think it's amazing. Anybody who's aware that they want to have a practice and that it's going to be really beneficial for them and for the people around them, I think that's amazing. So you've done the, 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 the big work, you've, you've set that intention, you know that it's going to be good for you. So my first tip would be, you know, really feel into what, like, what difference will it make for my life if I was to have 10 minutes in the morning for myself to put on a meditation mp3 how different would that feel for me like what would be 
um, what would be the impact that that would have on me and my life and the people around me? You know, even if you write a few sentences down about how different you'd be showing up as a as a mum or in your business or, uh, you know, in your partner with your partner or um, with your friendships. Just think, you know, feel into how different. It's all about the feelings and the emotions with it. So that would be my first my first tip, and also, you know, t- tap into you know what it is that's that's causing you to feel like you, you want to have this practice you know what is it that's you've got to a stage of right this is enough I'm, I'm really sick of my my mind chatter is doing my head in right now I I know that if I have this time for myself if I if I do this meditation if I do this yoga I know that I will be able to give myself clarity or maybe you're in a place where you're like you know I feel really I feel really like I'm not confident in my body and if I do my meditation and if I do my yoga and if I go running whatever it is that is my spiritual practice if I do that then I know I'm going to feel more confident so that would be my first my first tip for you would be to really connect with that like what difference is it going to make in your life if you stop procrastinating about having a a, a practice if you stop procrastinating about doing yoga how different are you going to feel and in fact I say this a lot um, with my clients and and especially after they've done the, the 28 day program I say like if you don't do your practice for a few days that's great because you will feel the difference and therefore that is such a big motivator and in fact Michelle um, did an amazing testimonial she did the 28 day program a couple of years ago and she'd just been sharing about how um, she'd been sharing with me about how she um, she knows now like that she needs to do her practice because she'll get to a place when she'll be like right I can feel my stress levels rising I know I need to do it so that would be our, our, my first tip to you and my second tip would be like get support you know don't don't feel like you have to go this on 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 uh, your own it is it, it, it's I find it I find it with my clients if you have support with people around you you're accountable and when you're accountable and other people know that you are saying that you're going to do something you do it nine times out of ten you will do it rather than if you're just telling yourself you have you're, you're able to make up a lot more excuses okay so that would be my my um my second tip and my third tip would be make sure you do something every day it's the consistency that makes the difference because when you set that intention even if you just put your mat out for like a few minutes you know that happens to me sometimes I get my mat out for a few minutes and then my little boy needs me I, I've set that intention that you know I am honoring myself and I am valuing myself and those few minutes of having that intention can be as it's more powerful than an hour of having doing a yoga class but not being there yeah not being present to it so that would be my top tips for you and I wanted to share right now there is an amazing offer going on on my 28 day program which the, do- the doors open on Monday and they close next Friday so you've got a week to uh, to get yourself enrolled if you act over the next couple of days you've got 48 hours to get 50% off the value the cost of the the program is just 197 but for the next 48 hours you can get it for 98 pounds 50 which is such an incredible incredible price and um, you I'll be supporting you day by day um, to learn and develop these skills and techniques that are going to take you into a new level of the way you live your life. I'm talking about increased confidence, increased um, connection, increased c- courage within you um, and you will absolutely blast any of these doubts that you have about whether you can or cannot, you know, whether you cannot do it, whether you can do your practice because day by day by day you'll be accountable and you'll be consistent and you will absolutely get into the groove of doing it. So I'm going to pop the link below in this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this at all. If anything's resonated with you, please do let me know and share this because if you've got other women in your life that you're like, yeah, I'd love them to to be my spiritual running bodies. And I know that, you know, if we did this together, if we did this program together, we would be so accountable. We would absolutely raise our game and think this time of year is like the most awesome opportunity to to really bear down a new a new way of living this is like what an incredible gift to give yourself to to leave this year 
with these amazing tools and techniques to make you feel empowered and connected and for you to bring what is needed out into the world right now. So I will see you very soon. Lots of love. Bye.